Hey, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about clogged arteries or atherosclerotic plaquing. Uh, there's confusion in that area in that most people focus on the cholesterol. They want to lower the cholesterol to avoid clogged arteries. And they want to do it by eliminating butter, fat, eggs, animal meat. Okay? But what I want to bring up is some additional data that has to do with the chain reaction that occurs before the cholesterol even comes in there um, in the chain of events. The first thing that happens is you get this thing called a lesion um, or an inflammatory state in the lining of the muscle in the artery. Okay, so it's a little tiny muscle, muscular layer that you get this inflammation. Now in a vein, you don't get clogged arteries because you don't have those muscle contractions. Veins are a bit more passive, they don't have that contractile uh, muscle tissue, so you don't have that situation. It's only in arteries. So you have this first thing that occurs with inflammation. Now what comes next um, is the cholesterol. But cholesterol, the purpose of this cholesterol is to help heal that inflammation. It acts as a band-aid. That's what it's there for. I don't know if you knew this, but your body makes 2,000 milligrams of potassium every single day. Every cell wall is made from cholesterol. All your hormones, specifically sex hormones and other ones, are made from cholesterol. Or your body makes a lot of it. One egg yolk is only, um, I guess it's 300 milligrams. Your body makes 3,000. If your body makes so much, why is it bad? So the point is it's trying to heal this inflammation, okay? Because you also get calcium formation on the same placking. So you have the cement that goes in there to try to heal it as well. And so we got a combination of calcium plaque, cholesterol placking, and fibrin placking. What's fibrin? Fibrin is a kind of like a connected collagen tissue, a fibrous tissue to help seal off that wound, just like any scar would be. So we're getting scarring on the inside of our artery with these three things right here. There's some other things that accumulate too, like um, uh, the polysaccharides. I'm not going to get into that. It's a little too confusing. But the point is that we must understand the first thing that happened is the inflammation. And then these things happen secondarily. So if we're going to come in late on the chain and start dropping calcium and fiber and cholesterol, did we really fix anything? Well, people say, well, I went on a plant-based diet and I healed my body. Well, that's because you healed inflammation. And your cholesterol is going to come down because it's no longer needed to heal this. Let's talk about what causes inflammation. Stress, that's that cortisol, very destructive on the body. Stressful foods, junk foods, of course, and then insulin. That's all the refined grains. Breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, sugar, all that stuff. Our body, uh, an average American consumes 149 pounds of sugar every single year. Um, so that's a lot of insulin. Of course, that's going to create inflammation in your arteries. Uh, the desserts, the alcohol, that will do it as well. And also not having enough omega-3 fatty acids. That's like fish oils, things like that, or flax oil. Um, so there's a lot of things here that can cause it. Smoking can cause that. Um, other chemicals in your body. But the point is that the real cause of a clogged artery is bad habits, creating inflammation, and then all these are just the, the things that, um, it's kind of like the icing on the cake, it's the thing that comes later. Um, so now that you understand this, then we can actually get rid of these things and then watch this go down because I'll have people tell me, I went on a plant-based diet, a vegetarian diet, and I got rid of my cholesterol and my clogged arteries. Well, I also have other people that went on a meat diet and got rid of their, they went, the cholesterol went down too. Why? Because they stopped having the carbohydrates the refined carbohydrates, the insulin. So that's some deeper data on the clogged artery um, mechanism. I'll see you in the next video.